Google has just released a new feature in Google Classroom that enables teachers to create groups of students to make assigning assignments easier. This allows teachers to assign the same class different assignments. The teachers can quickly assign classwork in predefined sets of students without having to select individual students. For example, teachers can create groups based on reading levels as their class adapts and they can edit the groups as the class continues. Let's go over how this is done. First, you'll need to navigate to your Google Classroom and then we're going to select the People tab. You will now see the ability to switch from students and groups. If you select groups, you will see the groups that you currently have. I have my students into two groups. They're called the Bears and the Lions. I'm going to go ahead and delete these and we'll start from the beginning. To create a group, you will scroll down to create group. The prompt will show you all of your students in the class. You can name the group whatever you'd like to name it. You can name your groups things like reading group A or project math team, whatever best suits you and your classroom. It's important to know that students cannot see what groups they are assigned to. They will not see these groups in the classroom. Only the teachers will. If you have co-teachers in your Google Classroom, they will also see these groups. I've divided my class up into working on a math project together. So we're going to have math project A. And then I'm going to select the students that are in group A. I'm going to create another group. and hit create group again. If you forget which students are in which group, you can hit the drop down arrow and see those students. You can also edit your group at any point in time. And your students can be in multiple groups. So that is my math group. I'm now gonna create another group. Small group twos and thirds. So this will let me know which students I'll be working in a small group with on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I work with these three. So you can have students in multiple groups. If you make a mistake and you want to edit the group, just hit the three dots and edit group. And then hit save and you've made that adjustment. You can always toggle back to students to see all students. Now let's take a look on how we can use this to create assignments. So we're going to hit create. We're going to make an assignment. You can also do this with quizzes as well. We're going to select one of our read along assignments. For the sixth grade, we're going to go over this one. I'm going to hit attach. And then we can see here on the right hand side, I can assign to all students or by my group. So I'm going to head over to my groups. I'm going to select this assignment for my small group and then hit done. If you realize when creating an assignment that you need a new group, you can hit create group right here. And then we're going to hit done. So we can now see that this assignment has been assigned to two students that are in one group. I'm going to select my due date, close submission after the due date, and assign. Keep in mind, you can also schedule assignments. So if you want to schedule assignments ahead of time for your different groups, you can do so. We'll hit schedule. And then if we scroll down, this is scheduled for Monday. you can see that this is scheduled for two students in this group. You can find this in other resources on our Technical Learning Center by going to jcps.me forward slash TLC. Here you can find resources on Google, Infinite Campus, and our training opportunities, along with our link to our digital learning channel. This is where you will find our IT YouTube channel.